Hello everyone, Zane here, welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV Rewind, a series where I redo old content with updated information and of course better audio. So today I'm going to show you guys how to train and summon your Chocobo to help you in battle. So the first thing you must do is unlock your Chocobo. So at level 20 in the main story quest, the company you keep, this is where you join a grand company. This is not optional, you have to do this. After that, you will do the quest, in my case in Gridania, Woods will be done. It will be different for each Grand Company. This is going to give you the Grand Company seals that you need, which is the currency, to get your Chocobo issuance. You'll go back to Minfilia and also pick up Sylph Management, which is the next quest. This is where you don't have to go back and forth. After that, the main story will let you know that you must talk to the commander of your Grand Company to pick up the quest, My Little Chocobo. Now with the Grand Company seals that you got from the quest before, Talk to the quartermaster of your grand company and pick up an issuance. It is not here on my inventory because I already got it already. After that, you will go to the Chocobo Keep in the city state. So in Gridania, it's going to be right here next to the Adventurers Guild. I think for the other ones, it's also next to the Adventurers Guild as well. So look for this icon on the map. After you do that and got your whistle, you will be able to ride any mount that you have available in the mount section in the main menu. If you want more information about this, I do have a video that I'll link down below. After all of that is said and done, you must be at least a level 30, and then you'll head over to Camp Tranquil to get my feisty little chocobo. So that's what we're going to do right now, so I'll see you guys in Camp Tranquil. So here we are at Camp Tranquil. Now you either can come from the Cory Mill, or you can take the other scenic route through Camp Drybone in East Thanaland. Now, dock it here will have the quest, My Feisty Little Chocobo, which I already accepted. After this, you're going to go to Bent Branch Meadows in Central Shroud and talk to the NPC right here. So talk to Luke over here. And now we need to pick out some Gishel Greens from the patch over here. All right, now you bring it back to him. Now there's gonna be another quest after this, so be prepared for more than one. Pass those in. Now your companions are now available. So now you can use this to summon your chocobo. Now, after that, you'll come up here, which you need to climb up a branch to kill three enemies with your chocobo out. All right, so I'll head up there and I'll show you guys what to do. All right, so after coming up the giant route to get to this area, you must kill three of these chickens here in order for you to complete the quest. So let's do that now. One. That's two. And for the last one. And that'll be three. After that, go back down and complete the quest. Alright, so let's pass this in to complete this quest. And now you also have access to your saddlebags, which is extra inventory. So you get 70 extra slots to hold whatever. Also, if you want to mount your chocobo, just select them and then hit mount. Simple as that. So the next quest is bird in hand. Unfortunately, you have to have an apartment or be sharing an estate. This is going to allow you to get the ability to feed and raise your chocobo in a chocobo stable. Unfortunately, I can't do this on this character. So I'm going to be doing that on a alt character that I do have access to a stable. Okay, so I'll see you guys on my alt. 
All right, so thanks to one of my subscribers, I actually was able to use their house in their Chocobo stable. So now we can accept the quest, Bird in Hand. All right, so now we need to collect all of the vegetable scraps around the stable. So there's a total of five. Also remind yourself that your chocobo is on a timer. When that timer goes off, they will dissipate, and then you must use another Gissel Green to summon them again. So be very wary of the time limit. After collecting all five, turn them in. All right, come over here. Talk to this NPC. Basically explains that the food is for them only. And then come back again through here. Give it to him. Come over here. Talk to Keitha. This chocobo is from the story, if you couldn't tell. Talk to Keitha again. And now finish the quest. All right. And now you can use the Chocobo Stables to raise your Chocobo as well. Now, there's different types of food, but the most basic is the Cracker Root. So now we're going to head over to the plot where the Chocobo Staple is, and I'll show you guys exactly what to do. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using my main character. Now, you can train other Chocobos in the Stable. So mine's right here. He's only level 20. I have one alt, two alt, and three alts here. All right, so the first thing you want to do is tend to my chocobo. Train. Now, because mine's already at level 20, nothing will be gained from this feeding. Now, you're going to be using these things called the Silcus Buds. You have the Coral Root, the Cracker Root, which I showed you earlier. You have tomatoes, eggplants, and, of course, pumpkins that you also can feed. You will go through a cutscene, and then you'll get experience for your chocobo. Now, earlier, or earlier recording, I did on my alt, so I fed them and I got 608 experience. Now, pay attention to the stable cleanliness. If it's fair, that means it doesn't need to be cleaned. If it's poor, definitely need to be cleaned. If it's excellent, which is like sparkle, that means it's the highest experience point that you'll gain for your chocobo when you're feeding it. So make sure that that thing is clean. You can get stable brooms at the Hunt Build Master, I believe, will give you one for a cost, of course, to clean your stables, or you can craft them yourself. Now, you also can change the name, and feed is where you give them Thamnurian onions after they hit rank 10, because everything after that, you need an onion to raise their rank. And you can uh, view their details. All right, so this is the highest rank that they can go. You also can change their barding here as well. So let's go into learning about chocobo raising. So training my chocobo. It is possible to train your chocobo while he is stable. Doing so will grant him experience points. To train a chocobo, you must first prepare feed to use as a treat. After training, you must allow your chocobo to rest and recuperate before he can be trained again. One hour. When your chocobo has accumulated the maximum amount of companion experience for his current rank, you may increase his rank through battle. So once it hits the maximum, take him out, kill an enemy, and then all will make level up. Special Feed Certain types of feed may be used to grant beneficial effects to Chocobo when he is summoned the battle. These include the Coral Roots, the Buds that I just showed you, the Pumpkins, the 
tomatoes, and of course, the eggplant. Should you reward your chocobo with the same feed continuously, it will become his favorite and beneficial effects granted by it when he is deployed will be enhanced. Additionally, when your chocobo has obtained the maximum rank, feeding it a Thabnerian onion will raise its upper limit. So pass 10. Snacks is where you'll be able to change its color. So that's why one of them is yellow and the other one is Dalamo red. So the Items that you see in front of you are gotten through the Haunt Bell Master at your grand company. Each of these snacks will affect your chocobo's plumage in different ways. There is a spreadsheet online that you guys can look at. Just decide which color that you want and the combination of fruits that you need to give them. After feeding your chocobo, you must allow him to rest in the stable for at least six hours. Taking him out early will be uh, unbeneficial, so you won't be able to change it if you take him out too early. Reverting the plumage. Feeding your chocobo a Han lemon will revert its plumage back to its original yellow hue. And then of course cleaning a stable. Training is more effective if chocobo is housed in a clean stable. Stables can be cleaned with Magitech stable brooms. Like I mentioned earlier. Now, let's go to the market board and I'll show you guys exactly what benefits the fruits or vegetables give you chocobo. Now, I favorite them so I can easily find them at my whim. So, you have the buds, like the artichokes, that gives you attack potency when you use them at, in the open field. The root will give you extra experience. The cracker root gives you nothing. The tomatoes increases enmity. The eggplants increases HP. The gourds or the pumpkins will give you healing magic, and the thousand earring onions will give you an extra rank. As you can see here, they are selling at restricted, which means that you have to unlock something in order to get 348 gil. Now the onions, they used to be way more expensive than this, but the housing market has been more approachable, meaning more people have been getting the ability to grow their onions. So they used to be way over 100,000 gil, but now they are dropped down to under 100, at least on my server. So feeding them these will give you the extra benefits. Obviously, if you train them enough, you'll get their favorites. Now, I'm going to take mine out because I'm going to explain the abilities that you guys can use with your chocobo and the like. So, tend to mine and fetch. Alright. So, you have actions. You have follow, means do nothing. Free stance means they will take whatever they have available and use it. Defender stance, tank only. Healer stance, healer only. And attack stance, well, DPS only. So favorite feed is on the bottom, right? For mine is the coral root. You also can mount and dismount from this section as well. Now skills. You must use the chocobo point as you level up. Obviously they'll cost more the more you go up in rank. So you have defender healer, and attacker, or tank, DPS, and healer. When you get the first 10 levels, you get a barding, depending on which role that you chose. So, Paladin, White Mage, Dragoon. So, for a Defender, you have Choco Drop, Enhanced Strength, HP, Choco Kick, Accuracy Up, Critical Hit, Choco Guard, Strength, HP, and Choco Strike. Healer, Regen, Mind, HP, Choco Cure, Accuracy, Critical Hit, Surge, Mind, HP, and Medica. Attacker, we got Choco Slash, Strength, HP, Choco Break, or Beak, Accuracy, Critical Hit, Choco Rush, each, uh, Strength, Attack Speed, and Choco Blast. So if you want the other bardings, you have to obviously uh, get these ranks up as well with the Thabnir and Onions. So you can get all three. And, of course, you can choose the barding here. So, I believe I do have all three bardings up here somewhere. Alright. So, you have Paladin, Dragoon, and your White Mage. Obviously, you can see what they look like when they're stabled and when you're mounted. So, that explains all of that. Also, you also can see the HP and the timer that they're up. So, that basically explains everything also... I mean, Gishel Greens and, of course, for Draw. 
if you are in a residential area, you can't see your chocobo. So you can withdraw from here if it's up. Okay. So that's everything you guys need to know to raise your chocobo up to level 20. Obviously, if you want to grow your own, you're going to have to have your own house. Or you can use a free company member's house or a friend's house. Which for me, I have a free company house or a friend's house over here. If you look on the map, you can see that it's hearted, which means that I share this plot with my friend. And you also can use your garden beds as well, which I don't have any seeds. But yeah, smalls can only use one, mediums can use two, and of course, large can use three gardens. As you can obviously see here. You also have garden pots that you can use inside your house as well. If you want, you can just grab the Thabnerian seeds off the market board and then just grow them yourself if you want to make it a little bit easier. But you're going to need soil and uh, the seeds itself. So in the gatherer log, if I can find it, there is going to be Thabnerian topsoil. You want to use the Thabnerian ones if you're going to be crossbreeding in order to get the Thavnerian ones. But you only can get one per gathering attempt. So you also can use unidentifiable ores, which is in Heaven's Ward, to get these per ore as well in Idleshire. But yeah, that's if you want to grow your own. But that can take like a week or two just to get that. So it might not be worth it in your in your in the end. And that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and help with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to support the channel even further, consider becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon supporter. The link for that would be in the description down below, as well as the link to my Discord channel. I also want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. So until next time, make sure you're walking in the glorious light of the world Bahamas, and always remember to keep forging ahead. Take care.